next drive as well is just... <laughs> it should not be this fast. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me here today at my friends at Swift Performance. I've actually got my M3 inside at the moment, having a load of service work. Uh, you would have seen fairly recently on the channel, having a few little problems with it, mainly maintenance things, nothing too overly major, but that's all being sorted inside at the moment. And today we're featuring something very different. This is Jeet's 540i, a car which, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even realize existed. We have the B58 under here and we all know how good the B58 is. This is a stage two plus car running around 480, 485 brake, um, so it's going to be pretty quick, that is for sure, along with the X-Drive system on this as well. So what we'll do in neutral fashion, we'll get G on camera, we'll get him to basically walk around it and speak exactly what he's done to it, and then we're going to go out and experience this 480 brake 540i. Okay, so we're joined now with Jeet, the owner of the car. An absolute understated beast this thing is. <laughs> um, like I said in the intro, a car which I didn't even realize existed. And I know some people, maybe yourself, are gonna be quite angry at me for that. Um, stage two plus, currently. That's correct, yep. Running about 480, That's I think. right, yep. Typical uh, B58, stage two plus numbers, really. Um, but yeah, B58 in this, such a good engine. We all know that I obviously love the engine having owned an M140i, which was stage two plus at one point as well. Um, but yeah, you've done a fair bit. So if it's all right to give us a, a bit of a walk around, really. Yeah, definitely. So it's a um, Boot Mod 3 stage two plus OTS map. Mm -hmm. It's got XHP stage three, it's MST intake, uh, Masata charge pipe, got Osprey Performance Turbo Shield. That's, That's a new version that they've just released. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah, turbos on these are tucked, well, essentially underneath that, right down the side of the engine. Um, and heat soak's a big issue as well, isn't it? So Definitely. That's a good idea. And we've got the uh, high pressure fuel pump, the 2U pump on there as well. Yeah, which is kind of under here. Under so there, like yeah. The 2U pump, you say? Yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah. So you kind of, well, you've, you've got room to go stage three if you want. Yeah, that is the plan eventually. It um, is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so just considering um, what turbos to go down and what mm -hmm. routes. So, yeah. yeah, there is plenty of options, isn't there, really? There is, yeah. I mean, been looking at pure turbo and uh, turbo systems. Yes, so, yeah, 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 just um, one of the costs and things. That would be nuts, because yeah. this, of course, is X-Drive as well, isn't it? Definitely, yeah, so you can put the power down and yeah. the traction as well, so. It's super clean as well. Lovely BBS wheels on it as well. Moving around, are they 19s or uh, 20s? 20, so 20s, yeah. 20 by eight on the front, yeah. um, 20 by nine on the back. I've kept nice. it stock widths, so yeah, 245, 35, 20, and then 275, wow, 30, 20 on the, on the rear. Awesome got stuff. a stud and nut conversion as well all around. Suspension wise as well? We Suspension we're running MSS uh, height adjustable springs. Yeah, they're good actually. They yeah, are, yeah. They're right um, and then exhaust wise as well, what is it? It's a Remus axle back. Yep. So mid pipe is res delete OEM, um, but yeah, we've got a Remus axle back on there. And the so down pipe as well, obviously, as correct, well. Correct, yeah, VRS um, catted down pipe on yeah. there. Yeah, lovely. It's, it's such a beast. I mean, <laughs> it looks very similar to an M5 in some ways. Obviously. It has been mistaken for one. Um, has it? Yeah, but obviously I'm guessing that's people that don't really yeah, know yeah, yeah. about it. But, but it's it's uh, it's nowhere as good as an M5, but still, it's it's, it's definitely still, something. Definitely, definitely something. Yeah. And yeah, and like I said, a car which I didn't even realise existed, and one which I can imagine does go under the radar a lot. It does. Yeah, you don't see yeah. many around. No, no, absolutely, no. absolutely. But yeah, it sits really nice as well. But yeah, stage two plus at the moment. Did you obviously buy it stock and everything like that? So yeah, it looks nothing like I bought it two years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I bought it completely stock um, from a main dealer and then, um, yeah, it's just uh, yeah. progressed. Did it all like in a that? short space of time, yeah. Nice, you did you stage one, stage two, and then plus? Or no, was so it... we went straight to stage two. Yeah, um, yeah, good choice. Stage two plus, and then yeah. now we've got the itch for, we for some more, yeah. Brakes wise on it as well, actually, going back to those. Yeah. They're big, are they Are they factory? Are yeah, so size? stock size, so on the um, sport um, braking system, you get 374 on the front, I believe it's 345 on the back. Uh, discs on the back. So it's wow. OEM discs with um, yeah. EBC red stuff pads. Oh yeah, yeah, I see them in there. They get nice. a lot less brake dust with those, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very, very cool. But yeah, it's got a, a huge amount of potential, this car. X-Drive with a B58, yes. running uh, just shy of 500 brakes. So I think we'll get it fired up, if that's pretty much everything. Yeah. And we'll go for a spin. Cool, sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, 
very familiar sound coming from back there, <laughs> but not a very familiar cabin. Yeah, it's a bit more uh, insulated than a, it is, a one or a three it's series. It's such yeah. a nice car to just drive, isn't it? I guess that's kind of yes. the aim that they went for. Definitely. Um, but yeah, it's really bizarre being in such a big car Open. with a B58. <laughs> Oh, it's no slouch though, is it? No, for a, for a big old five, it's yeah. a shift. Yeah. Well, it's a heavy old thing, isn't it, really? I think and the XHP, you've got it as well. That's right, yeah. It's... I think it's just shy of 1,900 kilos. Really? Yeah. Like we were saying off camera, though, I can't imagine there's many of these which are modified in the UK. No, I think you start to see a few more on Instagram pop up now. Yeah. I do get a lot of questions from a lot of people asking the route I've gone through and for advice and things on what they're yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. I think the one and the three are obviously the more popular choices yeah yeah no absolutely it's nice to see someone go a different route but with the same kind of same plan, plan i suppose yeah. see same power plant everything like that but yeah no it's really really unique really unique <laughs> got with x drive as well it's just no drama it almost removes the the weight aspect of it because it just puts it down so much That's better right. i think it is obviously slightly rear bias but yeah, it's so you just, can um, get it at a little, a little bit. bit yeah. yeah, I mean I've got Michelin parts, bought four S on these, but when I've mm -hmm. I've got another set of wheels that have got good jet tires on them. Okay, yeah, and that's a little back end happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so strange. It's all happening from like a luxury <laughs> saloon car. Yeah. <laughs> shum, shum. It's coming from the back, should it? <laughs> yeah, but it's coming from so far back there as well. Yeah, that power's really strong. Yeah, I think the torque figure was just shy of 700 newton meters. Yeah, that's, that's so something about right, yeah, yeah. I think stopped at 450, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Where it's so comfy as well, oh, it's yeah, so it strange. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really nice, actually. Because with a B58, with the overrun, it can be quite easy Did to you? get it quite intrusive. That's right. But they're, they're quite nice, like, burbles, aren't they? Yeah, quite um, refined. I mean, I had the OEM back box modified, mm. so the baffles and things were taken out, but yeah. over time it started to sound a little bit tinny. OK, yeah. And yeah. then I started looking at exhaust options, and yeah, yeah I think the Remus was the, the one yeah. to go for. Yeah, you can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Rides really well. <laughs> uh, I mean, the MSS has been sort of made to work quite well with the stock dampers, and I think yeah. they've done a really good job on that. It should not be this fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's absurd. That is absolutely absurd. I mean, with the X drive, it gives you that confidence to yeah. to push. I mean, if it's a rear wheel drive, I wouldn't probably yeah. driving like this. But yeah, yeah. Up with the X drive, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> even at like half throttle, you can just let it rev. Yeah. I mean, the burbles I've not set to full aggression, yeah. I think it's kind of halfway, uh, yeah. But... <laughs> I don't think it revs up as much as the, as the other ones. Is the, the red line slightly lower on this? I'm not sure, six and a bit, but six and a bit, yeah. <laughs> Interior wise though, done a few mods, apart from it being a really nice place to be where you don't really need to put buckets or anything, steering wheel, different paddles as well? Yeah, different paddles, steering yeah. wheel, retrim from raw steering wheels. Mm -hmm. Who are actually coincidentally next door to Swift, where yeah. we are based today, yeah. <laughs> which is quite a coincidence, but yeah. yeah, I love all this gloss black you have around. There wasn't too much to do, sort of, mm. interior wise on that side, I think, with the trims and things, I think it's quite a nice yeah. place as yeah, it is, absolutely. but I think, yeah, the steering wheel definitely is obviously the thing that you, you touch and feel. Yeah, and for sure. I wanted for something sure. a bit fresher, so. Yeah, absolutely. So, turbo options then, you're definitely going to go stage three. That is the that, plan, yeah. yeah. I don't know when, but yeah, that is uh, next yeah. on the card, so. Nice R8, you give him a run for his money, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the eight one. Um, yeah, that'll be mega. Yeah. I tell you what, when you do that, we'll have to get it on back on the channel, because that will be Definitely. a machine. It'll be interesting to see how it compares to a 140 in the same power right. band, because yeah. I suppose, yes, you've got more weight, but you've got far better traction off the line. Yeah. 
But anyway, I think that's probably going to wrap things up for me today, mate. Thank you so much for coming down and getting this thing on the channel. I can't get over just how unique it is, really. Uh, so yeah, no, much appreciated. And um, yeah, if you guys do want to learn more about the build, especially seeing as this is going stage three uh, some point in the future, then I will leave Jeet's Instagram linked down in the description for you guys to go and check out and check out the build and anything that's coming soon on it. Um, but yeah, as I said, that is it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures. Let's go.